This is the statue of St. Anne and our Blessed Mother. St. Anne is the mother of Mary. And next to her, you see her, this small uh, statue of Mary there, this is our side altar, who is the Mary, uh, the, the grandmother of Jesus, St. Anne. Okay? And people come here, they light a candle at the, at the, you see the candle stand here, to pray for a special intention. Uh, there's a kneeler there, they can offer you the candle. Many people have a special intention for, to pray for sick, for someone who's sick, or uh, someone who's unemployed, you know, they're asking Mary to help them you know, find a job. So this is a side altar. People come here throughout the day to pray in church and to uh, ask our Blessed Mother's intercession, okay? Now, you'll see here in the sanctuary are several statues of saints, all right? Let me just point out, well, here is, this is not uh, the Blessed Mother. This is our patron saint, Saint Rose of Lima. Saint Rose of Lima came from Peru, and she was a very pious, very holy woman, and she devoted her life to serving the poor, and very dedicated to the poor. And here is their, our patron saint, Saint Rose of Lima. It said she was very beautiful, which that's why she had roses around her, uh, the crown of her head, a very beautiful woman, but she dedicated her whole life to the Lord and to the service of, 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 of the poor. Now, here on the, in the sanctuary to the left is a statue, it's a marble statue, of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The Sacred Heart of Jesus, and that is the Blessed Mother. Now, if you look at the stained glass window here, <clears throat> you get this over here, sister. This is the image of St. Mary Margaret Alacoque, who Jesus revealed himself to her, and that's why we have the devotion to the Sacred Heart. Jesus is pointing to his heart. See there? So the image here, the sacred heart, is St. Mary, St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. And she's the one that promoted devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. We celebrate usually the, the month of June in a special way to the, uh, to the dedicated to the sacred heart. Very beautiful window there. Now, going over to the right side here, we're going to see the image of... <clears throat> On the corner here, St. Therese, a little flower, St. Therese, a little flower. And this is St. Joseph. Tomorrow, March 19th, is the Feast of St. Joseph. St. Joseph is the patron saint of the Universal Church. St. Joseph, pray for us, especially in these difficult times. We ask St. Joseph in session. St. Joseph and St. Therese, okay? The saints. Now, why do, we have, why do we have these images? Why do we have these statues? Why do we have stained glass windows? Because the saints are the heroes and the heroines of our faith. We pray to them because they assist us. They, they bring our prayers to the Lord. They're the ones, the holy ones, whose holy life was so permeated with the love of Christ that they show us of how to be holy also. They were human just like us. You know, they had their faults and their weaknesses. But yet they had a, the, the Lord was the center of their life. They devoted their life to Christ in, in, in life and in death. So we pray to them. They intercede for us. And when you're going to make your confirmation, it's also a custom to take a name of the patron saint as your confirmation name. Like my confirmation name is James, after the apostle St. James. Uh, so these, uh, in, the, in the church, when these saints are statues and the stained glass windows, these were used also in the early church as a teaching of the faith. So if you notice, the stained glass windows, especially ones up here, are scenes from the Old Testament. Now we have a book uh, that describes all the windows in our church that's on the side entrance of the church when you come in. You can read about all the windows of the church. Here's a scene from the Old Testament, the, old, the offering of, uh, what is this, sister? The uh, Mel Melchizedek offering his son. Or is that Abraham? Isaac, Abraham. Abraham, Abraham offering his son Isaac. Yes, and I forget, this section's missing here. I don't remember this one. And here above here is the crucifixion scene, okay? That's the crucifixion scene. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we have the joyful and the glorious mysteries of the rosary. On these stained glass windows here on both sides, so I won't explain those. But again, these were used to teach the faith, to teach the faith, to uh, uh, how to 
you know, learn more about our faith and more about the lives of the saints and, and the Bible also. Okay? Now, uh, I think I've covered everything here. Oh, yes, you might notice why do we have these candles here. These are just the uh, ordinary candles that we light, call the, uh, well, you can see what they look like here. This is an ordinary candle. We light this one for the blue for the Blessed Mother and one red for the Sacred Heart. So those who are burned throughout the day. Okay? I think that's all of our little tour today of the sanctuary. And I hope when you, when you, after you view this and you come into the church, you'll be more aware of the beauty of our church and the great gift of our faith that we have. So thank you, boys and girls. We're going to say a prayer together and I ask Jesus to bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This is the prayer Jesus taught us. and You know this prayer. It's the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May the Lord bless all of you and keep you close to our Blessed Mother Mary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.